Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And I am playing on 1.2.4 now, um, which uh, addressed the over over pen issue. I did a little bit of custom battle testing, but um, it does seem to have fixed it, which is fantastic. Really happy to see that one fixed because it was a bit of an annoying one. Um, I also noticed, uh, yeah, France is very blockaded. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have two rather interesting fights left to do this month. We have the Hamilton, and backed up by a bunch of Detroit class, taking on two battleships. Which could certainly be an interesting one. Right. Mm. right. Milwaukee join the rest of the heavy cruisers. Now, the last time we saw a liberation class in action, uh, it was rather effective. But um, battleships are a bit of an interesting uh, proposition. I'm actually going to slow her down to 28 knots, so she's going the same speed as the the cruisers. We'll give her a little bit better accuracy as well. Enemy spotted. Long way away. Uh, 60 kilo. 60 kilometers. There was me thinking the max spawn distance was 50 kilometers, but no, apparently it's more than that. Well, I guess we're just going to sail for a bit. Let's get them to follow. So you have Northampton, Norfolk, Sacramento, Memphis, and Milwaukee. Okay. Hamilton already opening up, but it's quite long range. Save your ammunition. These 18 inch nasties. Let's turn. Get some more guns on the problem. Northampton opening up as well. A couple of ricochets. Ooh. Oh, yeah, a couple of 10-inch uh, guns, I think, clipping that destroyer. Oh, yeah, a couple of 12-inch guns doing nasty things. sizable hits there. And another one. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hello. Looks like 
we have some torpedoes incoming. Oh! Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's not what they want. Down goes the Russell. Looks like the Leviathan is now being dealt with. Cruisers to try and take out the Viscount. Hamilton, I want to continue to focus on the battleship. That's it. main deck bends. Oof. It did say as well, um, base deck pen have been increased. Um, I wonder if that will help with um, the issue where sometimes you would <sighs> sometimes you would have um you know, a ship at close range and you're just unable to do anything to the deck armor because um, it rolled over or something. It'd be nice if that had been addressed as well. Um, but I think that's a trickier issue. Oh, down goes um, Goliath. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, like, if you're the British and you send two battleships, one with 14-inch guns, one with 18-inch guns, with escorts, up against a 12-inch cruiser killer and a heavy cruiser squadron, you would be rather disappointed with that result. Um, yeah, Goliath not hitting once with her 18s, just with her secondary 8s. Uh, two hits off the 14-inch guns on the Russell. Four hits off the 8.1s on the Leviathan and Belfast and Viscount did nothing. Yeah, look at that main gun accuracy difference. Yeah. That is quite something. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that went well. <laughs> Let's hope that the other battle goes equally well. Um, so we've got a convoy attack here, uh, but this is a bit different <laughs> because this is um, a Russell and a Centurion class from the British, but uh, we have a Lithuanian, aka I think that must be Spanish battle cruiser. We have a Belgian Puerto Rico class battle cruiser, which is one of ours. We have <laughs> the Belgian Liberation class battle cruiser. The Brussels. Uh, we also have the Canberra, which is a Davenport class light cruiser. The Plunkett and the Carney. So it's a weird mixture. I think the Brussels is going to be doing most of the heavy lifting because that's pretty much brand new. Um, the rest of them, I genuinely have no idea. So I'm going to break them all up because we've pretty much got individual ships here. So, yeah, Brussels, 
you're going to be doing a lot of the work, I suspect. Uh, yeah, there's the enemy. So I'm going to take on Brussels, um, Illinois, Lepanto. Actually, let's have a look at the Lepanto. Um, oh yeah, I recognise this design. Um, it's not amazing. At least I've got a trained crew. But it's not terrible either. Armour leaves something to be desired. Um, and we've got the Raleigh who's one of her own, and I think she's been through her refit. Yes, she has. And we've got the camera, and we've got the Plunkett and the Carney, and I'll just let them do their own things. Right. <laughs> what a motley collection of things. Because we know the Puerto Rico class is perfectly capable. Really? Why are you going so slow? Go to full speed, damn it. <laughs> I was wondering why she was struggling with that. Rather than not have the Belgians lose one of their ships. Now they come to us. is targeting battleships. Give him another salvo. Really getting some damage in. Appreciate the effort, but there's no point firing at a battleship. Away. That's good.
change direction. Good hit. Main deck pen. Oh, she's target locking. Is unreal. What's that like in real time? <laughs> yeah, surrenders. Ah, uh, oh, she's tired of looking again. Let's see if we can get the light cruiser. Oh, nice hit. Right, is that all the transports now? Nope, one left. Two left. Big hit on uh, the Mary Rose there. Yep, down she goes. A couple of cheeky torpedoes from um, the Arethusa, I think. And another one. out torpedoes. It's pretty irritating. A couple of partials. Over pen, bit of flooding. There we go, got her. Main belt pin for 39,000 damage. Jesus. Start punching the battleships. Oh, oh the heavy cruiser. <laughs> Indeed. Get rid of all the torpedoes. Oh! 
Oh! Agamemnon! That is the end of you. It's not quite the end. <laughs> oh. oh dear. That's not good. For the Royal Navy, they, they're going to just be wondering what on earth is going on. Like, 12 inch guns just. Just this. Boom! Ripping them to shreds. Here comes another one. Oh, ho, ho. double flash fire. Surely she can't survive that. Forward section of the pole just completely gone. She's uh, beaten a retreat. King Edward the Seventh here is far too slow to get away. And there she goes. Well, a stunning victory for the Belgian Navy, I would say. Um, because that was nearly all the Brussels doing. Um, just taking on that entire squadron by itself. Yeah, the Raleigh um, did a fantastic job mopping up transports. Uh, Illinois did get a couple of hits in. Um, everyone else just kind of hanging back and uh, watching the fireworks. <laughs> Again, main, main gun accuracy, 30%. That is stupidly good for a regular crew. They're not even veterans. They're just a regular crew. Um, but a testament to, I think, the quality of U.S. shipbuilding in that our allies can effectively put them to use. Two less battleships for the Royal Navy. I wonder how close they... I mean, I know they they made a surrender offer pretty quickly, actually. Um, I'm just wondering what we've cut the Royal Navy down to. Because uh, they have been taking a fair number of losses here. Yeah, they 19 battleships, so they've got quite a lot left. Um, Navy total tonnage, 1.9 million or so. So it's not a small Navy by any means. <laughs> um, how's our shipbuilding going? Oh, absolutely fine. Good. Uh, one thing I will check is if there are any refits I'm able to do. Yeah. But there are ones that are temporarily unavailable. That's fine. Um, well, I, I guess I will say thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.